Wally Tudo and no holds barred fighters. What this tape is going to concentrate on is the clinch work in the Muay Thai and in the no holds barred arena. Both of them are, have elements of sweeps, pushes, throws, manipulations, but the, the finish is going to be different. In the Muay Thai, the goal is always to score the knee, not to throw the person down on the ground. And right now in the United States, it's, a, it's very weak in, in comparison to other parts of the country, and especially Thailand. And so what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the positions that you can get in, the different sweeps and trips, and, and basically how to set up your knee so that you can land a, a great attack with that. On the no holds barred end of the deal, what we're going to do is concentrate on the same things, landing the knee, but at the same time, maybe setting up throws, trips, and sweeps to get it down to the ground, or prevent the, sh the, the fight from going to the ground yourself. You may be wanting to keep it up onto your feet, how to do that, land knees, spin the person off, also working against the cage or against the, a rope, how to deal with that situation. So this table is primarily going to concentrate all on clinching, landing the knee, sweeping, tripping, throwing, and manipulating the balance for both Muay Thai and Nobles Park. What we're going to start out with is the basic control positions that are fundamental to the clinch. Controlling the neck, controlling the arms, controlling the body. And there's going to be a variety of different positions depending on how the person is trying to capture you, get into your neck, try to control you. So the first thing what we can do is just get those basic positions. Can I have Mike come on here? First one is primarily that everybody kind of thinks about and knows about is the inside position where I'm trying to dominate the inside. He'll be trying to grab my neck, but I'm on the inside of his arms. This gives me a little bit more control of his body and also it's going to open up the body more for knee attacks. What's important on this position is that I keep my elbows down and in to prevent him from being able to grab me around the body to close the gap, all right? It's also going to allow me the ability to push this person out to make space for the knee, and I'm going to be able to steer his head around. Very important position and one of the dominant ones to get into. Next, we're going to have a basic position where we have one hand on the bicep or shoulder. He's going to be trying to grab me with that arm. I'm going to be controlling that arm and I can be controlling him with this elbow. We have one on one side, and we switch, we have one on the other side. Where I'm basically controlling his upper body, I can steer him, I can push him, I can control his arms, all right? We're gonna get a little closer now, and we're gonna have positions where we're one under, one over. So we're in this type of position. Again, we're getting underneath one shoulder and controlling the other one, all right? So we can still control his head, but now we're leaving one side of his body a little bit more open to knee. Again, that will be on the right side and the left side. Once we get in even closer, we have a control underneath the arms where I got both hands underneath, high under his armpits. This will really open up the body for knee attacks. Also, you're going to have a lot of manipulation ability on the bottom. The second one is low. So now you're lower on the back. Now you're going to be able to collapse the person down. You'll be able to pick them up. Again, pushing, pulling, and manipulating the person again with that control point. Once you're out here, we're going to have a few where we're in a long distance where we're just going to be hooking onto the arms out here. Not even controlling the neck, but we're right out here. And again, we can control the shoulders, pushing the arms, all right? Twist him one way, twist him another way to set up a knee or to set up a takedown. 